Welcome to Chapter 7, Lesson 2. How to use Google Trends to find keywords and niches. In today's lesson, we're going to be learning about the Google Trend tool we have in the category research. We're going to cover how to read the trend graph, which is located right here. How we can use this graph to predict trends. We're also going to cover how it benefits you and how you can make better sales as well as better decisions and find more items. So now as you can see, we are in the category research page. And for this example, I decided to select the category cameras photo and the subcategory as digital cameras. Now I did choose digital cameras on purpose. And the reason is, is because if you take the time to look at digital cameras and this specific category, you will see that it is full of brands. And like we always say, we have to avoid brands. But I wanted to show you how with the Google Trend tools, you can first of all understand the trend. And I wanna show you how you can use this graph to find micro niches as well as sub niches inside this subcategory, which is digital cameras. And these things that we do find, you might have thought that they never even existed. So first of all, let's go ahead and go through the filters. And the filters are located right here. The first filter is this drop down here where you can filter out the information from the past 12 months, 60 days, 90 days, from year 2015 all the way to year 2017. You can even look at the past five years or from 2008 to present, or you can do custom range. And when you select custom range, you may actually fill out the dates here from and to. Next to that, we have this drop down here where it allows you to select your location. If you're drop shipping in the United States, select the United States. Once you change any of the filters here at the top, all you do is update chart. So now that our chart is updated, you can see that we have the past 12 months located down here. So now let's go over the graph. You can see that Google ranks from maximum 100 to minimum 25. And these are the numbers that tell you how many items sold on those specific dates. So every time you do a category research and you search for a subcategory, the best way for you to understand a certain trend is to go through the graph and find its peak and its lowest point. For this example, you can see that the peak here for digital cameras was the 15th to the 21st of December 2019. 100 cameras were sold on these dates. The lowest amount of sales happened here from 15th of March to the 21st of March in 2020. 27 digital cameras were sold on these dates. So now looking at this graph, you can see that the trend does go up and down. So the information that we can gather from this graph. Towards the end of 2019, in December, just before Christmas, there was a rise in sales for digital cameras. Then it had a huge drop which is fine. There are no holidays in January. It's winter time. There's really no reason for people investing in digital cameras. Then you can see here in February, at the end of February, right before springtime, there was another rise, just in time for spring break. Then of course we had a fall and a rise again during the springtime in April and May which is a beautiful time of the year to be taking photos. Another rise we had here in August, at the beginning of August as well as the end of August, which makes sense because this is the time when people are taking their vacations just before school starts. And then of course, for the people who did not get their digital cameras before school started, we have a rise here in September. People want to get nice photos of their kids going back to school. And it's probably a great gift for those students going off to college to document their experience. So this is how you analyze the Google Trends graph. So for an example, right now is the end of October. Now what we would do is find October on this graph. This here is the beginning of October. You can see that there was a rise all the way throughout the middle of October. And now there is a fall in sales. 
But when we go back to the beginning of this year, towards the end of October, beginning of November, there was a rise in sales. So we can actually right now prepare for this wave that's coming in November. And we can ride this wave all the way up to December, which is the highest peak on the graph, which means the most sales. We just have to find the right items, list them, make sure we have the right timing, and we will actually catch this peak. So when you're in the right timing, you can list specific items to get to that specific time. So let's say by looking at this graph, you learn that there is a fall here in January, but then the trend starts going up. So it would be a good idea for you, even though it was last year, for this year to start coming up with new items to post in your store before this peak. That way, when people are searching for items for digital cameras during February, you will already have those items in your store. So that's great planning on your part as a dropshipper. You can always go ahead and write notes for yourself, set alarms, that way, you know when to post the right items and not miss a beat. So let's go ahead and go to the left side here where we can see the related queries. So here we have an option to select rising or top queries. We always select top. But again, you can always play with it and not be limited to your research. So the top are the most searched. So we have camera, digital camera, best cameras, best digital cameras. Then going over to the next page, we can see Canon cameras, Canon digital cameras, best digital cameras, and so on. Let's go to the other pages over here. You can see that cheap digital cameras has 11 searches. It's low, but I mean still people do search for it. So now when we go ahead and change it to rising, here we can see what the most searched for words were in the last 12 months. Here you can see what's going up dramatically. And the number one thing is smallest digital cameras. And it's rising at 130%. So now when you do this, you can go ahead and click on this item here. And then you will have the option to search this on Google. So when you do that, it will open it up in a new tab. Now here you can do more research as well. Here you have the best compact camera 2020 in a glance and a list of those cameras. You may also click on the links just to get more information on those keywords. And just because some websites may be just there for informational purposes, such as this one, it doesn't mean that Google doesn't allow you to jump into other websites that are actually selling compact cameras. This will allow you to gather all of the information that you need. And let's go back to the category research here and actually make a search for cheap digital cameras. In the product research, again, you will click on it, go ahead and copy the keywords, open this product in a new tab, the product research, and go ahead and paste those keywords. So now we used to focus all the time on keyword phrases that actually make sense to us. We used to focus on what we know. Sometimes keywords like cheap cameras or smallest smartphone those are keywords that can get us certain traffic and they will convert to sales because there isn't a lot of competition. It can actually open up a door to an item, a place or a niche in a way that we can make money with low competition. So now let's actually go ahead and delete digital and let's just search for cheap cameras. So once you have that in your product research in the search bar, you're going to go ahead and click on search. Now, once you do do that, a list of 100 items should come up. You're going to select all and click on Zeke selection. So here we have the statistics. Now let's find a way to make some opportunities and of course make a profit. So looking at the stats, you can see that the sell through rate is 896%, which is not super high. There were 896 sold items in the last 30 days. 
The sales earnings were over $88,000 and the average product price is actually $113. And the successful listings is at 23%. Usually with the results of these kind of statistics, we really don't even go much deeper into this product. But we aren't really at this point looking for cheap cameras. We're actually gonna scroll down to the product list just so I can show you other items, other products on the product list under keywords, cheap cameras. So we have this first item here. It's actually a portable selfie LED light ring. It has nothing to do with cheap cameras, but it's an item under cheap cameras. Here below, we have this spy camera sold 58 units for $16.89. So sometimes when we use these types of keywords, we can get to traffic that we might not even get to if we didn't take the time to do category research or this type of specific research. Another benefit when searching keywords from the category research, we can come across items that aren't even branded. That way we can go to our supplier, find the same item and sell it under these keywords. And even though the statistics aren't good for these certain keywords, that doesn't mean that for these certain items, there aren't sales and profit to be made. So going back to the category research, we went over the filters, we went over the trend graph, as well as the related queries. These are all great tools for you as dropshippers to use to find the best upcoming items and trends and make great profit.